Hey Art Nerds, I'm back with another character design prompt. Today's prompt was an injured royal messenger. So I wanted to demonstrate a new technique for you guys today and it's sort of like using layers in Photoshop or using layers of tracing paper. Apologize for my camera freaking out there. So I do my under sketch, very loose, mostly just silhouettes, just to kind of figure out what I want from this. I want to convey a lot of things. We have to convey that this is a royal messenger. We need to convey that they're injured. And we could have done all sorts of different injuries from falling off a horse to a paper cut. But I decided to go with the extreme. I decided to go with don't shoot the messenger or um, I guess a messenger who's full of arrows. They did not like the message he conveyed. And since I haven't really been doing a lot of world building or um, environmental design in these challenges, I decided to do some of that as well. So we have the underdrawing here. Next, I am going to attach a piece of tracing paper, taping it down so it doesn't move too much. We have the basis of our drawing. We have a silhouette. He's kind of leaning over onto his legs. He's got some arrows sticking out of him. We've got a bit of our environment. We've got trees. We've got a hill. We've got a sunset. We also have a moat. Well, we have the bridge for the moat in the extreme foreground. And if you look closely, you can sort of see the, the drop-off point where the landscape goes down into the moat. And for this, I googled Royal Messenger, and I couldn't quite find what I was looking for. I ended up with a recreation of Royal liver Livery from around the 15 to 1600s. It wasn't quite as uh, medieval as I was looking for, but there wasn't as much reference as I would have hoped. I, I don't know. Um, so... Hopefully this comes across, but I feel like, as the artist, it doesn't come across quite like what I had in mind. So using this technique, I can capture the idea very quickly and then refine it at my own pace. So I go ahead and I cross hatch in the face and then I draw the hat that was present in the reference. And it's this interesting little black hat that has like flowers around it. And I don't think these people are supposed to be messengers. It also has a little rough. But it did kind of convey the royal livery sort of feeling I wanted to capture. And man, my camera is really freaking out. And I am so sorry for that. So now I go ahead and I sketch in it sort of a jacket he's wearing. It's also sort of a robe. So it has long sleeves. And there's a part at the front which prevents it from being like a full skirt. And then there's trousers underneath. And I thought that would kind of convey the royal messenger sort of design we're going for. I mean, we could have gotten really interesting and we could have done like a royal messaging app. Like a Snapchat for the royals. And then I start sketching in the arrows. And I guess whoever was aiming for him wasn't a particularly good shot. Maybe they weren't even aiming at him at all. They just wanted to scare him. And I really went heavy handed on the arrows. Now I'm kind of sketching in the grass since he's outside. He was trying to make it for the drawbridge. And I want the wooden pillars to appear kind of rough hewn, sort of um, dated. So I sketch them in pretty roughly and then I do a very light handed wood grain texture on them. Same goes for the planks in the extreme foreground. And I just eyeballed the perspective here. It was just a sketch, just a 10 minute sort of illustration. Nothing too serious. And honestly, you could do as many layers of tracing paper as you wish. You could do the background on a separate layer of tracing paper. You could do the trees on a separate layer of tracing paper. However many layers you wish to use. I see artists complain online that they can't draw without their computer, like their tablet's broken. 
And uh, that's not, that doesn't have to be the case. You can implement a lot of what is used in graphics programs comes from traditional media, comes from the physical realm. So you can do a lot of this by hand if you want to. I wanted to convey a little bit of atmospheric perspective for this illustration. So we have the trees in the foreground are very large. All objects in the foreground are large and detailed. Objects in the background are less detailed and maybe entirely in silhouette. Wanted to add some more trees to the far background. Just kind of fill this environment. Looks like Make it look like he came running through the woods. Maybe he had to deliver some bad news to Robin Hood. Although I think Robin Hood would A, be a better shot and B, wouldn't shoot the messenger. Also had some of the trees cross over in front of the sunset. So one of the tenets of atmospheric perspective is overlap and size and scale. All of that helps to create depth in your environment and it requires only a little knowledge, a little bit of practice, a little bit of thought, and not really any technical skill. Because you guys can see this was sketched in really loosely. Another thing is to make the arrows in the foreground, the fletching on the arrows, larger than the arrows in the background. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye guys.